Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double lock, double honors to the apostles in GMS. And peace and salutations to your brothers across the world, pushing this word of sincerity and truth. Uh, I know it's late, but it was really just on my spirit to bring this out because I've been thinking about it the past few days and I haven't really just brought it out yet. But it's going to really come down to a time when we're really going to have to rely on this, man. We're really going to have to rely on this word, man, because there's going to be a time. It's coming soon. You got you got China and Russia in cahoots with each other, man. They on the seas. Their Navy fleets are together and doing projects. You got J-115 going off. You got the dough keep on lowering and lowering, man. China's currency is going down. America's currency is going down, man. We're really on the third day. You know, it's going to really become a time, man. We're going to really have to get into this word, man. We're going to have to just eat this roll for real, man. Not eat the, tear the crust off, man. Eat this whole thing. But this is really just going to be a quick hit, man. I don't want to really just make this too long, but I mean, however the spirit rolls. But um, I really wanted to go to John, the sixth chapter. And I want to actually start, I'm going to start at verse 31. All right, so I'm going to let my phone clear up. But it says, um, our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So, of course, we know this is talking about our fathers that was in the wilderness, man. You know, we was in the wilderness for 40 years. We was trying to travel to our land, and we didn't have nothing to eat. So, the Lord, what did he do? He sent manna, which is bread from heaven. So, we'd be satisfied and able to, you know, keep on going further. So, we wouldn't starve to death. Now, verse 32 says, Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gave you the true bread from heaven. And you got to think, really, what is that What is that in representation of at first? Because, you know, of course, like it says in, in, in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, you know, the laws are set up things to come. Now, I know this isn't the law that I just said, but you really got to think of the whole Old Testament, what Moses said, being a shadow of things to come. The Lord always used examples previously to show you what was to come later on when it came to Isaac, Abraham sacrificing Isaac or the Most High sacrificing his son. You know, the Lord always threw you little clues in the beginning of it. So in this clue, the Lord sent this manna to eat so we'd be able to get to the promised land, which was the land of Israel, you know. So again, I'm going to reread this verse. It says, Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, because Moses didn't. Moses just, the, the Lord just used Moses to help guide us through. But it says, my father gave you the true bread from heaven. And he does give you the true bread from heaven, because that helped us stay alive back then. But what's going to help us stay alive right now? That's Yahawashai. He's talking about Yahawashai in the scriptures, because again, that manna back then was nothing but a representation of what was to come later on to keep us alive until we got to the promised land. We had to eat the manna back then every day in order to get to the promised land. Hey, what's the promised land now that's coming? New Jerusalem. And we're going to have to eat that bread from heaven in order to get there. Because without that bread, we ain't going to live. We're going to die. We're going to die of hunger. And without that his blood, we're going to die of thirst, man. That's why we got to give all, you know, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. He's that bread that's fall, fell from heaven on this time. That was a representation of him the whole time. So I'm going to continue on verse 33. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto all of the world. So the bread of the Most High is he which come down from heaven. Who is he? Who is the he he's talking about, man? That's Yahawashai. He's that bread of heaven. He comes in the whole volume of the book. The Most High's word is his spirit. And who's the spirit of Yahawashai? And that's the comforter as well. And that's to keep us comforting. But that's also the fetus as well. And it says, and giveth life unto the world. Now, you know the world that it's talking about is Israel, man. Because, again, when you go to the book of Hebrews, it talks about how to use it. How was to make the worlds? Well, this particular world he's talking about is, is Israel, man. Because he, he came to give life unto Israel. And you can go to the book of Acts and the book of Matthews, chapter 1, verse 21, and to prove it. But I'm not about to do all that right now. Y'all can do it when y'all want to, man. And this is just a key point. I'm going to continue. Verse 34. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh said unto them, 
I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Because when you go to this word, you know, you got you got nothing to hunger with. You got you you got all the food you need, man. This is the food that's going to help you get into the kingdom of heaven, man. Forget this regular bread, bro. Shoot, when, when all this stuff cracks down, bro, we ain't going to have food like that to eat, man. But we're going to have that spirit to keep us pushing, man. We got to keep that zeal to keep on moving. Again, I'm going to reread verse 35. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, I am the bread that he, I'm Shalak, I am the bread of that life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Because you know when you believe him and you know of him, you know what's to come in the future. So you know you might be physically hungry later on when all hell break loose, man. But you know you got that spiritual hunger quenched and that spiritual, the spiritual thirst quenched, man. Verse 36. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. And who's he talking about, man? He's talking about the damn fair. He's talking about two-thirds of our damn people in general, man. You got so many of these people that want to stress the law, the law, or want to do whatever, man. Y'all ain't believing in, y'all mention faith at all, man. Because faith is going to get you in this thing, man. The law is not going to save you. And that's what he was trying to tell these wicked-ass scribes and Pharisees with their pretty garments and all that shit, man. They trying to stumble him up every trip, and he cut their ass every time, man. It's that the, it says that ye also have seen me and believe not. And you know who he's talking about, man. And these same niggas is here today. Purple garments or whatever, man. These motherfuckers is here, bro. Verse 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him, him that come to me, I will know why I ca know why it's cast out, man. And what's the first thing? How do you first come to him, man? By knowing the name. You have to know the name in order to come to him, man. You can't just, you can't call on your play yoga. You can't call on your play yoga and expect him not to cast you out, man. He's going to look at you like you fucking crazy. Excuse my language. We're just going to cast you the hell out, man. You were never in there from the get-go, man. You a hypocrite. Verse 38. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. So we just got to continue to be brotherly in this thing, man. We got to continue to think of ourselves like we ain't shit, man. These aren't our bodies. These aren't our lives we live in. This is, if you in this truth, that is. These aren't our bodies. This ain't our truth. This is the truth. But this ain't ours, man. We supposed to be in the same mindset as Yahweh Shah when he said this. Because he said it some as, as an example. He said, but the will of him that sent me, that all with has, has given me, should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. So we're going to have our glory in the last day, man. We can, we can be on these highways and byways and look like fools. We can look like clowns to these people, man. That's how we doing the right thing, man. That's how they looked back then, man. But we're going to raise up again in this last day, and it's coming. Brothers, we got to stay in the spirit, man. This, this is really going down right now, man. The Lord, all these prophecies are coming to pass. The Lord's not playing games no more, man. He's casting niggas out. You know, Israel's being sifted right now, man. We got to continue to pray. We got to continue to fast. And we got to have an understanding of what's going to happen later on, man. Because this says knowledge and, will, not, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. And we know what's going to come. So we got to have that. And what's knowledge and wisdom? Again, that's the bread. Staying in the spirit. Verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me. That everyone would see the son and believeth on him. May have everlasting life, and I will raise him up in the last day. Verse 41. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread of the life which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? So they pretty much like, Man, ain't you that, ain't you that nigga that come from Bethlehem whose father? How you the son of God? We know your mom and dad. You No, you ain't, man. You blasphemer saying that. That's what they were saying, man. They don't want to believe him when he said, I'm the bread of life that came from heaven, man. They can't believe something that's in front of them, but they want to say, Yahabashim, Yahabashar, or Most High Christ blessed. Everything but when the truth's right in front of you, man, and it ain't appealing to you, and it's making your stomach feel funny, man, you don't want to believe it, man. 
And again, I'm reading verse 42. And they said, It is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How is it then? He said, I came back from heaven. Verse 43. Yahweh shall therefore answer and said unto them, Murmur not amongst yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up in the last days. So we can't just come to the most. Zion, Lex, we can't just go straight to the Father, man, because we fucked up. You got to come in the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's our mediator. As much as you want to say that he ain't coming, we just, no, man. No, man, you very proud. Y'all proud saying stuff like that, man. We need a mediator, man, because we know we fucked up in the day. We know who these prophets was talking about in the ancient days, man. Somebody had to come and save us, man. And it wasn't your damn self and wasn't your damn belly, man. He had to send his son in order to save us, man. And that's something you niggas don't get. We don't got the juice. We don't got the fucking juice, man. Lord wouldn't let her on the day. We those men, we gonna have him, man. But right now, it's ain't the day, bro. Humble yourselves. This even goes to brothers and the truth, too. Humble yourself, man. And know who the Lord sent. Know who the Lord sent above you to teach you, man. The Spirit's on certain men for a reason, man. Just learn and shut the hell up. And I'm gonna continue on this verse, man. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught of God. So they shall be taught of God, man. They ain't gonna be taught of man. They gonna be taught of the Lord, bro. And what's that? That's the Spirit, man. The Spirit's gonna teach you. The Spirit's gonna be on certain men to teach us, so we continue to so we continue to do this thing, man. It says every man therefore that heard and hath learned the Father cometh unto me. So if you know the Father, you are gonna have to know that you gotta go into the Son in order to get to the Father, man. It was prophesied all over the place, man. Moses talked about that. Stop being so damn proud, man. Your own belly ain't gonna save you. Your appetite ain't gonna save you. The law ain't gonna save you. Of course, we need the law, but that's not gonna save you, man. People love to kick out faith. Faith, man. That's the key point. That's the gift that the Lord bestowed upon his upon his men is faith. If you don't got faith, you out of there. You gotta have faith in something. You believe in the law, you got faith in the law. I don't really wanna say that shit, man. We got our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Treat brothers accordingly how you like to be treated, man. Treat a brother like you talking to Yahweh Shai and he treating Yahweh Shai, man. Serve one another. You know? But um, that's pretty much all. It, it's tons of meat on there. But that's that's pretty much all I wanted to get to, man. Again, I know it's late. It's a lot. But I just wanted to send this out. So hopefully it was edifying the brothers, man. You know, again, first and foremost. I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double line of see the apostle GMS that rule well. Peace and salutations to you, Akim, that's sincerely pushing his word in truth. Shalom.